Knock, knock, knock. Hi, my name is Rachel. I'm your nurse today. And I'm just gonna start off by giving us some privacy here. And I'm gonna do some hand hygiene per, per CDC guidelines, 20 seconds. Okay, um, how are you doing today? Good, can I go ahead and look at your armband? Can you tell me your name and date of birth? Okay, Robert Miller, 227, 1990. Great, thank you. How are you doing? Nice to meet you, Robert. Okay, so I'm going to assess the environment here and I'll make sure that the, it's a safe environment. Um, everything is in working order. All my equipment is working and the bed is at a proper height for proper body mechanics. And we have, so we have a safe environment here. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, talk to my patient and ask them about their allergies. So do you have any allergies, Robert? Patient has no allergies. And do you have any pain today? So the patient expresses that he has pain. Now I'm gonna assess that further and I'm gonna ask um, the, how it's provoked. So I'm gonna ask him how, how the pain is provoked. I'm gonna ask the quality of the pain, what type of pain it is. And then I'm gonna ask if it's radiating and the uh, severity of the pain, zero to 10 scale, on the zero to 10 scale, and then of time, does it come and go? How long has he had this pain? So forth and so forth. So. Um, at this time, I could also um, possibly, if it's applicable, um, give him some pain medication and come back 30 minutes later. So say I do that and I come back and, and I, um, I have verified the doctor's order, the, the type of irrigation solution, um, and the strength of the solution. I have, um, I have also gotten all my equipment that I needed. Okay, and now I'm going to talk to my patient and I'm gonna assess them and I'm gonna assess the need for the procedure and I'm going to provide education to my patient and talk to them about why we need this um, procedure and what it entails and how it's all gonna go and answer any questions if need be. Okay, and, and I'm going to um, position my patient in um, a comfortable position for, for him and also um, make sure that I can ask, access the wound in a good way and um, make sure that uh, we can do that with proper body mechanics. Okay, so I'm positioning my patient and I position them and my wound is here. Okay, and I'm gonna do some hand hygiene. Okay, some good hand hygiene here. And um, CDC, by CDC guidelines. And now I'm going to go ahead and put on some clean gloves. Okay. And I, I'm getting all my um, my my um, stuff ready to go. I've gotten everything, and I'm gonna um, take all my I'm gonna take my old dressing off the wound, okay? And I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna take even the packing out of there, and I'm noting the dressing. I'm noting for the color, the odor, the consistency of the drainage, and the amount of drainage on um, my old dressing. Okay, so coca, so, and I can document that. Okay, and then I'm gonna dispose of that. And now I can assess um, my wound edges and my wound bed. And I'm looking for sloth or exudates, escar. I'm looking for infection. I'm looking for induration or swelling. And I can note that. And now that I've assessed my wound, I can go ahead and measure it. And using a disposable measuring tool, I'm going to um, make sure that I measure the length from head to toe at the maximum point of length, okay? So, sorry, we're gonna use up some years today. And um, we're at 8.3, we're at 8.3 centimeters. And now uh, measuring the width left to right at the maximum point of width. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and we have 5.8 centimeters. And now I can measure my, my depth, and I can get a, a sterile um, swab, cotton swab, and this will be my sterile cotton swab for today. And I can go ahead and I can measure the depth. Okay, so I'm gonna find the point of maximum depth, and I'm going to go ahead and feel around for that and find it. and. Um, aligning my fingers to flush with the skin. I'm gonna go ahead 
and pinch and okay so here we go that's my the length of uh, the depth of the wound so line that and carefully looking I have the, my depth at 5.9 centimeters okay and I can go ahead and dispose of this at this time and I can chart that and note that also I can get another sterile swab and I can go ahead and and um, look around for some tunneling or um, some um, I keep going underneath the skin I forgot the name I can look for that okay and so now that I've assessed my um, my wound I can go ahead and set up for um, irrigation okay so I would um, I would probably just wash my hands again and put on new gloves and I would set up all my supplies and I have my um, I have my piston bulb syringe and irrigation tray with my with the appropriate and ordered solution and I poured that out into my um, my graduate in my cylinder right here and I'm going to go ahead and irrigate okay and when I'm doing that I'm being really careful just to go on one side of my uh, wound and I'm irrigating in one direction so all my solution flows out in one, in one direction okay and I can go ahead and um, I can I can collect I can collect any um, debris from that um, so say I have solution and I've drawn it up I can go ahead and um, irrigate on one side here in one direction and then I have my solution flowing out and I'm waiting till it runs clear and I'm gathering it with my gauze right here okay okay so so we have irrigated our wound and it's and it's run clear so I can go ahead and get rid of this dispose of this and I can I can pat dry with my um, four by four is here in the wound bed if needed okay and I'm right we do that and I can go ahead and get rid of that and I can um, now clean up all my supplies and dispose of that okay and I can I can get ready to get my sterile field set up so I can go ahead and um, change dressing um, sterilely okay so um, I uh, I go ahead and do another hand washing here and I proceed to see guys I get some good hand hygiene going and um, I get my sterile field set up and have all my supplies I have my sterile gloves okay and then I I'm gonna open I'm gonna open my my tray here with my my sterile and I'm going to be really careful for, with my drape, only touching um, one inch around. Okay, and I'm not touching the area where it's near the wound. Okay, and I'm being careful not to cross my sterile field. Okay, and not turn my back to it. Okay, so now that I have my drape out, I can touch my my tray here and I can I can dump the contents on my on my tray okay I'm gonna go around it and I'm gonna open my sterile glove pack up and I'm gonna put my sterile gloves on so I'm just touching the inside of my cup I'm really careful Okay, so I can go ahead and touch the edge here. I didn't put it back in my pack, right? But I can touch the edge here just to make sure. It's fine. I have not broken sterility yet, okay? So, 
Now I can go ahead and organize um, my stuff in my sterile field here, okay, and um, get ready to put my sterile dressing on. And now I'm going to pack my wound with my sterile gauze here, okay, with my tweezers, maintaining, maintaining sterility. I'm going to pack my wound. Okay, and I can use, um, I can use my sterile cotton swab and I can go ahead and use it to help me. Being really careful not to touch the edges and only touching what's sterile, okay? Now that I, I have used these and I've packed my dress, I'm going to go around my sterile field. I'm not going to cross over it and that's going to turn back my back to it as well and I'm going to dispose of it in my um, my biohazard bag and I can go ahead and put my um, sterile dressing on top okay. and I'm going to secure that with some tape And I'm going to, I'll put tape on both sides here and I'll secure that. And I'm also going to get a piece of tape um, right now and I'm going to put it on my glove right here and I'm going to write out um, my initials and the date and the time that I'm doing this dressing and I'm going to place it right here um, so that it's labeled. Okay. And then we're all good. To, we're all good to go. And I'm going to go ahead and clean up my supplies now and dispose of it, okay? After I'm done disposing of all my supplies, I'm going to make sure that my patient is comfortable. They're in a comfortable position and they have everything that they need. Um, and they need to use the restroom, if they need water, anything. I'm gonna make sure that they have whatever they need and make sure that their bed is low and locked, the rails are up, their call light is within reach, all their equipment is working properly, the environment is safe, and I'm going to thank them, and I'm going to wash my hands per CDC guidelines, and I'm going to leave the room.